taking a look at the Jet Edge 36250D high pressure water pump. This machine can create up to 40,000 psi of water pressure at 5.5 gallons per minute. Ultra high pressure water can be utilized for a wide, wide variety of applications such as steel surface prep, so removing all paint and corrosion products from steel, as well as concrete demolition or water jet cutting. So coming in closer to the machine here, it's built up as a 10,000 pound trailer. It's double axle. It's powered by a 280 horsepower, 24 valve, turbocharged Cummins diesel engine. All that power gets directed into this hydraulic pump here. It's 80 gallons per minute at 3,000 PSI. That hydraulic power is directed up into the business end of the machine here. Now this is two double acting intensifier pumps. Now this hydraulic valve, this pilot actuated electronic hydraulic valve shifts a hydraulic piston inside each intensifier back and forth in a reciprocating motion and that actuates a small plunger with a 12 to 1 area effect that pumps the water. So low pressure water comes through this blue hose, it comes up through the inlet check valve, the plunger reciprocates back and forth and creates water volume out out through the outlet valve and then high pressure water is directed out of the manifolds at the end of the intensifiers and into this high pressure water plumbing. Uh, and this plumbing is capable of dealing with up to 60,000 psi of water pressure. That water pressure goes down into a large accumulator which is down here which helps reduce the pulsation vibration of the constant reciprocating motion of the four plungers. So those are the overall workings of the intensifier pumps in the machine. Now these intensifier pumps were recently rebuilt. <clears throat> it has all new inlet and outlet check valves. It has new plunger seals. And those parts combined are three to four thousand dollars and it's quite a lot of labor to put all those components in. They should last anywhere from, depending on the water quality, the inlet water quality, something between 400 to 800 hours before it needs to be rebuilt again. And this is just typical of, of high pressure water pumps. Um, there is a, a degree of maintenance required 